Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start a whole new series here based on one of your newer suggestions. I'm going to also peruse some of the older suggestions and then see what stands out. But what I'm looking at on the new ones, lots of great entries, so can't wait to delve into some of the other ones and start sharing with you uh, here. I might even do more than five in this case, depending on how good things are going well, for, for, with regards to this new series set of videos. But yes, this one has to do with yet another artifact, something involving a mysterious item that, if you're one of the believers of this item, could actually be a hammer that is not just several million years old, but several hundred million years old. It definitely makes you wonder how this hammer can be so old, because obviously the only thing that would allow it to be that old is if somebody created it, in this case a man or a woman and they would have it in their possession but that means they would have to be around 400 million years back in order to do so crazy stuff there's still uh, some skeptics too for this I don't I'm gonna give my own thoughts on that too but yes it has to do with this you're looking at it now it's known as the London hammer and I'm gonna go ahead and explain all the fascinating information tied to this mystery so what is this London hammer well, here's how it all started. You have to go back to 1936 or 1934, depending on some versions of this. And at that time, in a place uh, called London, Texas, who knew? Apparently, there's a place called London, uh, a city essentially called London there in Texas, just like there's another city called Paris also in Texas. But yes, there in London, Texas, there was a couple by the name of Max and Emma Hahn who happened to just be hiking along a a place called Red Creek. I could totally imagine them just enjoying maybe an evening stroll. Lots of places here in Texas that you can do so. Basically, uh, if you just drive out towards from any city and then go out maybe 30 minutes out, you'll find a bunch of these trails, a lot of these beautiful places that you can see, uh, not caverns, but you can see these places uh, like these mountains of some sort that you can just walk through, large hills, uh, desert, not desert, but fields out out there of just pure endless pastures that kind of stuff so I could totally imagine them walking around and when they did so that's when they discovered this thing they called it an artifact that seemed to be just completely out of place compared to everything else so apparently there there was a, a rock formation a standard rock formation no biggie there stuff that you would normally see but there was this unique piece something that was protruding from that rock it was a tiny piece of wood Everything else was hidden within the rock itself. So the, the couple decided to go ahead and, I guess, remove it. Maybe it was loose already, or maybe they just decided to put a little bit of force. Either way, though, they were able to take that piece with them and then take it home. But interestingly enough, for the next decade or so, they did not do anything as far as breaking open that rock. They essentially just left it as is. So you can imagine something about a rock the size slightly larger than a football, and you can see a piece of wood extending from the bottom of it, but nothing else on the inside. And so why they didn't do that, who knows? Maybe they just decided one day they would and they forgot about it. But either way, cut to 1947 and then that's when their son decided to do the job he decided to take something and break that rock open and when he did so they were all surprised to see this that looks to be a hammer an iron hammer no less that is on the bot on the um, end of that piece of wood so clearly something was encased in this case a hammer inside this rock formation that would have taken a long long time to do so just just the idea of, of of the hammer just falling somewhere and then you have everything else as Nate as as the decades as the centuries go by uh, encasing it that's what something like this could create so the hammer at that point didn't have much publicity instead they it came about in the 1980s that the world finally learned of this and it all came about from the purchase of this hammer by a guy named Carl 
bow. Now here's where things get a little bit controversial um, as to uh, like in terms of the skeptics truly stating that this 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 thing poses a lot of red flags. So the couple sold it there to Carborough. He's someone that dubbed it the London Hammer creating in this case a moniker something that would instantly attract attention and he started to in turn promote it as what he uh, he called it a monumental pre-flood discovery because apparently Carl Bo is considered a creationist someone that believes that instead of evolution it's more along the lines of divine intervention that is what's caused Earth's history and so in his case he thought this is a perfect way to showcase essentially you know how long man has truly been abound uh, based on his ideologies and he promoted it very well he was able to attract a lot of attention to this hammer in fact the only reason that you and I are even reading of this is because of his publicity. He does a very, very good job of, of it. He was able to promote it at several locations. People were able to take pictures. They were even able to examine it up close and, I guess, do a meteorology, if that's... A I forgot what the term is, but I think that's the one. Um, they were able to take a look into what this hammer is made of. And apparently the hammer consists of 96.6% iron, 2.6% chlorine, and then 0.74% sulfur. And obviously the wood itself is made out of wood. But they've been able to point out that whatever these materials are, and even after all these decades of the hammer now being exposed to the air nothing in terms of this hammer has has had any rust on it not like say other things that are metallic that you leave out there in the air for so long no in this case obviously when it was enclosed in the rock it was protected but now that it's been open since the 1940s it has yet to form any other rust around it so Carbo using his uh, creationist methodology and then also using his promotion he did a fantastic job like everybody was able to then report on this and they were able to try to guess you know what's going on by the way the 400 million dollar figure I'm sorry the 400 million year figure comes from the material surrounding this this hammer the rock itself uh, it was dated uh, carbon dated and it could be one report at least around 65 to 135 million years old the material that's around it and then other materials that are near it uh, I don't know exactly like what's considered near but some of the surrounding rocks around that location have been dated to be 400 million years old so crazy crazy thought imagine that the idea that there could have been humans in this case something someone that would have created this hammer dropped it back then and then had it encased within the uh, the, the rock itself uh, there's the idea that maybe there was a lot generation of mankind an age of giants another uh, I guess but uh, evolute not evolution but another cycle of humans that lived and then died who knows all of these questions started to be posed by this guy and then the tours and the travels that he did but but the skepticism comes obviously in this it could just be a regular hammer something that was just created roughly around 200 years Years ago based on the design of it dropped in this case by anybody um, somebody that let's say was a miner somebody that was a digger and then and the way apparently that this stuff works the minerals around it are that old you know they're they're millions and millions of years old but they in turn almost like a liquid surrounded the hammer itself over those 200 years who knew but apparently minerals can do that you can drop anything within a cavern Give it enough time, give it enough centuries, and then the, manure, the the rocks themselves will almost absorb it and then envelop it. It's just the passage of time. They'll eventually do that. that that's why a lot of skeptics, especially geologists, believe that that's, that that's what's happening here. There are, th this is nothing in terms of the rock and the hammer being the same age, but rather the minerals being much older, but the hammer being a lot more newer and just going through that that process of of being encapsulated by the materials that makes more sense to me myself that's my own thoughts it could in this case not be anything as far as as, as something very very old it's just the 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 whole 
it's just at its simplest a hammer being dropped and then the materials and for uh, forming itself around them the easiest way absolutely easiest way to just verify this is to carbon date the hammer itself so the minerals have been dated but not the hammer but Carl Bow apparently has decided not to have this done he has not allowed anybody to take a look at the hammer get any materials from it and then try to use carbon dating or carbon 14 dating to try to find out how old it is it does make you scratch your head those red flags start popping up uh, makes you wonder why it could be of course that he's trying to still push his creation theory uh, he doesn't want anything to essentially come forth as evidence that would uh, that would shatter this theory of the hammer being that old it could also be that he's trying to make sure that it just still continues to gain publicity uh, because publicity is always good it could even lead to continued source of income all that stuff just comes into play imagine if those if suddenly it turns out this was just a regular nothing hammer then clearly that would that type of publicity would be gone and in fact if you truly wanted to see the hammer you could do so you can't study it but you can still do so it's located a place called the Creation Evidence Museum. So if you happen to be near that location, fantastic. Take a uh, take a look if you have a chance. You'll be able to go there and then you'll be able to see this very controversial hammer there in person. Crazy stuff, very interesting stuff. So so um, uh, that's something that's apparently located in a place called Somerville County, also in Central Texas. Who knows, I may actually try to go see it one of these days myself, uh, depending on how far it is, and then I'll show you the pictures afterward. But yes, that's all the information associated with this mystery, with this oddity, this London hammer. Anybody else uh, know anything about it? Maybe something might have missed that seems important. Anybody else happen to have seen them themselves? Like uh, maybe taking a trip there to that museum and then uh, seeing it in person. Please post those comments below. That'd be really, really great to hear. And what do you guys think? Is this truly a hammer that's several hundred million years old? Or is it just something more on the lines of that I and I believe this more that it's just dropped and then the minerals just surrounding it and that that's what essentially makes it seem old so all right everybody thanks again as always take care